We've really looked at 2014 as the year of South America. We started the year off in January in the Galapagos, then in April we were in Chile, and then the guys traveled over 40 days to get to Recife, Brazil, which is on the opposite side of the continent. And it's this environment where we bring fishermen together with these scientists. Scientists not just from one institution with one discipline, but scientists from across the whole country of Brazil with different institutions and different disciplines being involved so we can maximize what we learn and leverage that for public safety as well as the conservation and the future of the sharks. There he is. He's there. Dump it, dump it. It's coming at you. It's coming at you there. Go around the bow yep. Is it a tiger? Yeah, I don't yep, know. tiger. Right? Yeah, we're hooked up on another small tiger, okay? Bring it on. Yeah, tiger shark nursery, I guess, huh? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? It'll be really interesting to see what sort of sharks we come across as far as maturity. You know, they see a lot of immature sharks in this area, and we do want to get tags on these immature sharks because they will define the nursery. If the sharks are not succeeding there, you do not have a bright future. We are also hoping to run into the occasional large mature animal, and particularly a large mature female, because she will reveal to us the birthing site and the mating site. And if you can see that one place where the two sexes come together of mature animals, it really helps you pinpoint the mating site. A fan of Sotrek, the caterpillar dealer, names this shark Lampiao, the Brazilian equivalent of Jesse James. Good luck, old boy. Nice to see a boy on the, in the cradle. I believe that uh, the work we are planning to do with the search using the spot tag, the pop-up tag, and the acoustic tag together is the perfect combination. Even if they don't go up to the surface, we will be able to detect them with the acoustic tag. And with the spot tags, we will be able to follow these animals for much longer, which is absolutely essential to, to better understand their life cycle and how their life cycle is coupled with their migratory cycle. I think it's going to be fantastic. I think the opportunity for the, the population to actually see where the sharks are, they will fear the sharks less. They will understand their importance and they will start to understand the, uh, that the sharks are not our enemies. And I'm, I'm absolutely confident that the work that we are now starting with OSEARCH uh, will add crucial information to reduce these uh, rate of shark attacks even more. This shark is named by Caterpillar, nicknamed Maria Bonita, a member of the Kangako Band. She has the status of a folk heroine in Brazil and a girlfriend of Lampia. Good luck, 